On May 4th, 1910, the Royal Canadian Navy was established, just four years before World War I erupted. On June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Fernandez of Austria was assassinated along with his wife by a Serbian nationalist in Sarajevo, Bosnia. He was the nephew of the Austro-Hungarian Emperor Franz Josef. This ultimately led to the start of World War I, but tensions were already growing and probably could have still started. The Imperial Federation was created a while back before the war, but its role in World War I was very significant. It was created for the following countries to send naval forces to Britain to defend it from Germans. Canada, Barbados, British Guinea, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. The British requested troops, food, battle supplies, and ships to help them win the war. Another thing Canada did for Britain was lend them huge sums of money for Britain to invest in weapons. Most of our modern day technology wouldn't be available to us if World War I didn't start. Canada fought in very few battles compared to the frightened countries in Europe, but the battles that they did fight in, they led in a huge victory for the Allied forces. The first battle was the Battle of the Somme, which lasted from July 1st to November 18th, 1916. Canada fought with Britain, New Zealand, Australia, India, France, and Poland. They all led the Allies to a victory against Germany and ended up with over 2 million deaths and hundreds of thousands of injuries. This turned out to be the most bloodiest and devastating battle in world history. In fact, every day, about 248,000 shells were fired. One of the most victorious times for Canada happened April 9, 1917, out of the Battle of Vimy Ridge. In North France, Germany had controlled over a large piece of ground that has controlled most of France. France, Britain, and many other forces attempt to take this land in many battles, losing and taking away over a million soldiers. Canada went for the last attack against Germany. Canada ended up with an extreme victory for the Allies. They used something called creeping barrage. Artillery would fire in front of the soldiers to advance them forward and drop more behind them, creating an umbrella. The war could have been lost if Canada did not fight this battle. This would lead to a National Remembrance Day.